Okay, hello, hello. We are waiting for Dr. Fine. She will be on any moment. Okay. Hello, everyone who's joining. Dr. Fine will be joining us tonight. Perfect. Have her right here. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are there. you? Look, there's my dragon friend in the background. Hello. Yes. <laughs> dragon friend? Yeah, see, look. Ah, yes. Yeah, art, art makes me happy having art in my home during this time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you holding up? I'm doing okay. You know, how many people feel like this is a roller coaster ride? Every day is a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hi, and Molly. Up, Molly saying down. hi. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, what's going on with your practice? Have you talked to your patients? How's everybody doing? Well, you know, I think that everybody's settling in a little bit and trying to use this opportunity to take care of themselves the best that they can and encouraging people to get support, even when they're not coming in for acupuncture and regular treatments. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. you normally do fertility and women's health. I do. Right? I would say that about 95% of my practice is women's health and a continuum of care, everything from uh, PMS to fertility treatments and menopausal symptoms. And I think especially during this time, if you have issues with women's health that are a little bit psycho-emotional, um, maybe that stuff is coming up. Stress, anxiety. Oh, really? normal, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, that's what we were talking about with the whole topic for today being about, you know, spring is coming, whether we are ready for it or not, um, whether we feel like it's springtime or not, because, you know, times are different right now than they ever have been before. And everybody's, yeah, like you said, on that emotional roller coaster. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to talk a little bit about spring and Chinese medicine. Um, so yeah, do you want to talk a little bit about five elements and just um, kind of give a little bit of an overview as to, you know, why this idea of the liver is important right now? Sure, sure. And I just want to answer what you just said about or what I said originally about this being a roller coaster ride. And I want to encourage this to feel more like we're surfing and that we can ride the waves instead mm. of having this be a roller coaster ride, which is just totally out of control. Right. And I, I feel yeah. that many people right now are feeling very out of control. Um, so I like to think of it more that you can get on your surfboard and ride the <laughs> waves. Right. Maybe that's a very L.A. thing to say, but. But I love it, and I think everyone can kind of relate yeah. to that. And yeah. then it's a choice. You know, you can think of it as this crazy roller coaster ride, or it's like, okay, there's momentum coming. Let's go with it. Yes, yes. I so agree with you. So let's talk about um, how we can smooth out that ride, whether it's the rocking ocean or our roller coaster, and how that pertains to Chinese medicine and um, what we've been doing for the past, um, you know, probably. 20 years almost, right? I've been um, yeah. practicing Chinese medicine for almost 20 years in herbal medicine. Um, so in Chinese medicine, of course, we talk about the liver um, being related to the spring and every element um, has an emotion as well. And the emotion associated with the liver, and when we talk about the liver, Dr. Nell, we're always talking about the meridian, right? Not necessarily that there's something wrong with the liver itself, although it can um, be a part of the pathology, but we talk about the meridian of the liver and that being the freeway of energy that runs through our body, right? Yeah. Um, and so the emotion associated with the liver is very much related to frustration, right? And the reason that the liver is um, very much associated with springtime is because that um, the spring is when things are just starting new again, right? They're just starting to grow. We're seeing bursts of new green um, that is less um, happening and maybe not happening as vibrantly in Los Angeles as it does on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. So I saw uh, one of my friends from the East Coast today post a beautiful picture of the forsythia, 
right, which is Lian Xiao in Chinese medicine, right, which is an herb that we have been using in Chinese medicine. Uh, it does grow all over the East Coast. And it was a beautiful picture because it was still covered in snow. Right? Yeah. And so um, in Chinese medicine, it's a cooling herb, right? Um, and helps to cool down the liver as well. Um, but that, that source of frustration um, um, can be tempered by doing projects, for instance, that help you to um, clear out your, your creative energy, right? That's pretty timely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of times we put projects on the back burner, right? And mm -hmm. So now a lot of us are, you know, forced to be at home. Um, there are a lot of projects around us. And, you know, spring cleaning is a thing for a reason. Yeah. Right? You hear that and, you know, ever wonder where that came from. Mm -hmm. um, but it's very fitting when you look at it from a Chinese medical perspective and the things that you're talking about now with you know, as we're, you know, having that one foot in winter and one foot in spring and trying to talk over um, that movement and desire to, you know, clear out that energy, I think is really present. Um, and goes back to what you said about the wave, you know, people are feeling that irritability or frustration, and you can either use that in a really great positive way to create that momentum and keep that going, or you can just sit in your house and create more stagnation and go a little more crazy. <laughs> well, and, and some of that is a physical congestion as well. We are talking about the meridian being the freeways of energy, but we are also talking about the actual liver. And we know that the liver is responsible for processing hormones in the body, especially mm -hmm. for women. And so when that gets too congested because your digestion is not good, perhaps, um, or perhaps drinking a little bit too much, um, these are the things and, and the emotions around our, our anger and frustration can actually um, make the physical organ of the liver uh, work uh, less than optimally. Um, so, you know, creative projects, um, whether you're, I mean, I've been doing some crocheting. Um, oh, nice. I used to paint, but uh, there's not a lot of time to set up painting, you know. So for me, crocheting and doing something with my hands is helpful and it's good for nervous energy. Mm -hmm. um, but even if it's not an actual craft or painting or something like that, you know, whatever it is, that's your, your jam uh, for doing something creative at this time or, or journaling and getting your, um, you know, getting your emotions down on paper about what's going on is, is, is super helpful. Um, well, and it's interesting also that we were talking about uh, riding the wave, right? Because the water element is also very important in Chinese medicine and one element feeds the next element. And the element just prior to the liver, as we know, is, is water, right? And so the water has to feed the wood, right? And that wood element of spring, uh, it needs to be supple, right? So um, the symbolism of the, the perfect piece of wood is bamboo, right? Because it's very strong, but it's very flexible. Right? Yeah. And so we need, right? yeah. And so we need enough water also, um, from that element to be able to to feed the wood um and that that can be actually just hydration and staying hydrated but of course there are herbs involved in that as well and there are herbs for the liver as well which um you and i had had talked about talking about some herbs as well as some um some food mm -hmm. um, therapy as well yeah and i think it's interesting you know in when we're talking about the liver and we talked about you know water coming before it needs to nourish the wood there's also this great connection between the liver and the spleen and lung health the lung. Um, which is just of course very timely and what everyone's concerned about right now but you know to have that good um more supple liver um be a little more flexible help keep your system uh you know optimized that can really affect your immunity and mm -hmm. your susceptibility and just you know mm -hmm. your overall health well and that, sorry about that's my uh, my phone's on very low juice um the element of um of the uh of the of the of the lungs right Mm -hmm. um, being associated with grief and how much grief we're all experiencing right now and how, how grief um, plays into our frustrations. So 